Welcome back champions, today we're going to clean up the Xbox One fan a little bit better and also stop any squeaky noises it might be making. Last week we got the Xbox open and gave the fan a basic clean but this week I think we can do a better job. So hit that subscribe button if you've been enjoying the series, got plenty more videos as well. So we've already got the unit open, I'll put a link to that video in the description or in the top corner. But you can see I've pointed out there the connectors that we need to get open for this video. Now you can see I'm wiggling them back and forward. You don't want to wiggle them the opposite way, otherwise that can cause you grief and you may end up tearing a connector off the board. But after you've released those four connectors, you can remove the hard drive and the disk drive. And then we can disconnect the fan connector that's hidden under the hard drive itself. So we'll grab a flat bladed screwdriver after that. There's four of these pull tabs in total, but you just have to release two of them. And after you remove those, the fan will just come on away like you can see it's doing here. Now you can see, even though we cleaned it last week, there's quite a bit of dust left. So I'm going to grab a toothbrush. You can use a makeup brush or the same kind of brush I used in the other videos as well. Uh, but I prefer the toothbrush. It's my favorite. Just give that a good clean up. Make sure you've got all the dust out of it as best you can. You probably still won't get all of it. But as long as you get most of it, that's a pretty good job well done, yeah? We, we talk about Jerry Rig on this channel. But anyway, after that, you want to grab yourself this rocket ship tool or a can of compressed air. I can leave links to both of those in the description below, but give the, the uh, heat sink a really good blowout because that's going to collect up a lot of dust. As you can see, there's a big blob of it there and there'll be more. So make sure you really get into it, really just blow the heck out of it. Anyway, moving on, we've got the fan here. I'm just giving that a really good clean up. Clean it however you like, but just make sure you get it really, really clean and don't put water or liquids on it, all right? We're going to use a lubricant here though, here, uh, after I say don't put any liquids on it. We're going to put this kind of liquid on it. Uh, WD-40 probably wouldn't recommend. Use this style of liquid, uh, liquid lubricant instead. I'll put a link to something that you can use in the description below. And then just work that lubricant in and make sure that there's none leaking back out. You don't want that to leak back onto the board or anything like that. So maybe just give it some time and let it rest and after you feel safe, Plug it back into the board, and then once you've got two connector tabs lined up on one side, you've got to push down really hard on the other side. But it will go on, make a real snappy noise, and away you go. So, I'm putting it back together after that. I was thinking of doing a video without the fan on, seeing how long the Xbox would last turned on without a fan connected at all. Let me know in the comments below if I should, or hit the like button. But aside from that, thanks very much for checking out the channel, guys. Please subscribe if you're enjoying my videos. And check out the videos I've got linked up on the screen here. They're pretty good too. All right, catches.